Hey everybody, Truth Dog here, Internet's Favourite Dog, back at it with another video and a few of you will be happy to know that today's topic will be on Reptilians Fireworks celebrate good times, come on, let's celebrate them um, I don't really want to do this video, I feel like I've already said everything that I know about the subject um, but my views lately have been really low. The likes especially have been abysmal. So I'm doing this one Just for that like Lady Gaga. I do it for the applause, the applause, the applause And if this doesn't go well, I fucking quit um, So the topic today will be reptilians don't know the reptilians now This is something when I made my older videos on this subject. I wasn't aware of I was always making those videos under the assumption that um, these things knew that they weren't human uh, it's only logical to assume that if a if an alien or some sort of you know creature is wearing a human hologram then of course they'd know they're wearing a hum human hologram but hopefully this video will clear up why I believe that is not true uh, also I've let my cat out this morning so I'm gonna have to keep my eye on the door because if he, if he comes back I have to feed him breakfast because it is that time of the week um, let's get right back right into it uh, seeing a reptilian being born. Now, this wasn't, didn't see this with my own eyes. Uh, it was actually filmed. Now, I don't want to throw my family under the bus, but my not sister had a baby with a psychopath, a reptilian, and for some reason, this dickhead decided to film the birth. So, they, in the hospital, he's standing behind her, she's giving birth, you can just see he filmed it with his phone see the back of her head and her legs and whatnot and the staff taking the baby out and the baby came out looking like this um, green sort of like frog almost kind of the frog kind of thing round head beady little red eyes long uh kind of like muppet puppet mouth like I, I, I going like that had like talons i drew just very quickly a picture to help illustrate what i saw in the video so he goes like this, ah, 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 gasp me for air, right? Like has like three talents. Um, it's really weird. The strangest thing, as I've said in my comments before, is that, well, not only did it come out looking, the baby came out looking like that, but the, the nursing staff, the hospital staff who delivered the baby didn't even bat an eye. I, I, that was the strangest thing. They just took it out, put it on the stretcher as if it was business as usual. Now in the video, which, uh, like I said, the, the my sister's, my not sister's fuckhead husband filmed on his uh, phone. In the video, you can see my not sister from the back. She she sees she sees the creature, the nurse holding the creature, and she and you can see like literally her head goes like this and tilts to the side and stays that way. Like she passed out from shock from it. So I know in the past I've said that with cameras they pick up things that the human eye doesn't see because uh, cameras. Uh, sees more frames per second than the human eye that's like one of the that's one of the ways that our um that we are that we are like nerfed in this world our, our senses are like um disabled so that we're, we're not as aware as we should be about the predators around us that's why it's very important to you know have uh, always go with the intuition gut feeling and whatnot about things because your eyes aren't necessarily going to show you what's true but i would assume like maybe okay what happened because the nursing staff didn't seem to think it was weird maybe the creature literally wasn't a creature in person maybe he did come out human and maybe like reptilians they do come out as as humans and um it's simply like cameras that can capture it but in the footage my sister sees the baby and passes out in shock so i'd assume that in person this creature was reptilian looking and also like the reptilian husband filmed it for some reason and the only way that the only reason that I ever saw this video was that my sister not sister uploaded the footage to Facebook uh, it was only up for an hour or so I managed to see it and she was doing it to ask her, her friends if anyone agrees that the baby her baby looks weird in this video and everyone who replied was saying what the hell is that an alien WTF oh my god that's so weird things like that but uh, the video was taken down within a couple of hours so don't know what happened there um, yeah and like like I said the the staff put the thing the baby the reptilian onto the the thing and wheeled it off 
So I don't know what happened in, in the interval. Obviously, when I first met this child, he's a boy, um, he looks human for all intents and purposes, but like I've, I've, I've discussed in other videos, there are ways that you can tell that uh, a reptilian in human form is not human. So he has all those tells that I've, that I've mentioned. Um, so I don't know what happened between giving birth and, and taking the baby home, whether or not uh, the staff gave the baby an injection, whether or not they put it in some sort of like amazing Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat uh, human meat suit, or if simply because we're living inside a hologram that after like a minute or so, uh, the the human form for the child loads into the matrix, into the simulation, so that um, from then on out, that they're always going to look human, and you know, they, there's no there's no way for them to know otherwise, which is why part of this video is about why rep I don't think reptilians know that they're reptilians. Some might, but definitely not all. Um, just excuse me, my cat has shown up. I need to let him out. Just uh, talk amongst yourselves. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this video won't take too long to make because now that he's in, he'll want to be fed. Hopefully he doesn't interrupt the video like he has a tendency to. Although, there's there's a possibility he could get in the thumbnail, which is always good for views, I think. Um, so where was I? Yeah, so... Yeah, like I said, this this uh, my nephew, he is, uh, he is reptilian, and he's a very weird kid. I would actually say he's, been, he's a psychopath narcissist from birth. I've just written down some things to remind me what I wanted to say. So, from a very young age, just like as a newborn toddler or whatnot, when he would come to visit us, he would be like crawling around the house, snooping, kind of like how uh, a person you'd find a person like casing the joint, like trying to find where the uh, where the where the safe is or whatever. It's like Stewie from Family Guy. He'd have very strange eating habits. Um, my sister, my not sister, uh, told me that she would catch him constantly in the pantry with like a bag of onions, eating onions whole. You know, like what kind of baby does that? And it reminds me of things like George Bush. I think he ate an onion hole or something like that, raw onion. Um, and also our ex-Prime Minister Tony Abbott in Australia is a full-on reptilian psychopath. He did similar stuff to that, so I don't know what that's about. Um, oh yeah, he would also like to break things. Like I'd buy, I'd buy him and my his, uh, his half-brother who was human. My, my not-sister had a, another child to uh, another man and that, 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 that boy is human. He's... He's great, he's normal, um, but yeah, like this one, not so much. Uh, I'd buy video games as presents for these two, and the reptilian child would literally snap the video game discs when he didn't get his way, snap his brother's video game discs, just to hurt his feelings, just to create that negative energy to feed on, because as I've discussed in the past, I do believe reptilians are uh, energy vampires. He's, a he's been a pathological liar since birth. He's been uh, lying through omission and body language before he even learned how to speak. Um, also, this isn't like in any way to judge, but he it took him a long time to learn how to speak, longer than most children do. I think he even had to go to like a speech, uh, speaking therapist or something to learn how to how to speak properly. So I don't know what that goes. Maybe he's like his his soul is from Mars or whatever Saturn, and that. His, uh, his natural dialect isn't anything like ours, so it took a, lot, a little bit longer to learn how learn the human tongue, so to speak. Uh, what's say? Okay, he's also a very funny kid. I've said this in the past about reptilians, that they're very, they're very funny, and that, that's how you know that I'm not one. He's a very funny kid. I actually have a very natural rapport with him when he's not being annoying 99% of the time. Um, he also talks a lot. He talks a lot, and that's like, again, with psychopaths, like, uh, conversation is their currency, and again, it's a form of energy vampirism, just blah, 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 you know, I went to the park, and I went on the slide, and blah, 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 pushed me in the sand, and they're a bad person, and blah, 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 blah. all this stuff, you know, like, I pick him up in the car, and it's just from, from minute one, from, from the first minute, he just doesn't stop talking, very, very annoying, I've noticed that in public, too, like, it's a form of gang stalking, say, um, sitting at a booth with somebody, you have some assholes behind you. Uh, did you hear about so-and-so? Blah, blah, blah. You know, and did you hear, see what they're wearing? I can't believe it. And they just talk so loud and it's non-fucking-stop and you can't even think. 
uh, I found a good way to like stop that is to just talk over them. Like if you're with someone, just say, "Hey, isn't it annoying how assholes will sit behind you in public and just talk really loud and blah blah." And you know, and you and you just basically call them out without doing it directly, and that usually shuts them up. So that's that's something that works if you want to come across as a psycho in public. But uh, I suppose you have to fight fire with fire. But like I said, this kid talks a lot. And he's very funny. Um, also, like when he was young, like a toddler, he'd come over to stay and he'd piss himself a lot. And I've heard about reptilians, like humans, like of high vibration can actually like make a reptilian piss themselves or shit, even shit themselves out of fear. Um, he pissed himself, but I, I chalked it up to him doing, just doing that to like ruin the night, you know, because like he'll do, he was at a point where he, he wasn't like very good at talking yet. So he would like, he'd do anything like that he could to ruin our fun, like everyone's having a good time, then all of a sudden you look over and you're like, did he just piss his pants? He just like do it to like get the attention. There's no like there's no such thing as bad press or whatever. So do that to get everyone's attention. But it could also be the other thing because one night he did it twice. He pissed himself on the floor. We had to clean it up. Blah blah blah. Okay, accidents happen. Whatever. Later on, we're all watching a movie and he pissed himself again on the couch, which again totally broke the flow of the evening. Had to clean it up. Big nuisance, you know. Very draining. Pissed himself on the couch. About an hour passes, we're watching a movie. We're all sitting there. He's sitting next to his uh, human half-brother. And, you know, he just turns to his brother and says, You pooed the couch. And we all, like, stop. And we all just start crack up laughing. And we go, Pooed the couch? Nobody pooed the couch. So he's like, he's doing this thing where he's throwing his brother under the bus. And also, like, it's like that whole time the cogs were turning, like, how does he make everyone forget that he pissed the couch? Because that was embarrassing. That didn't work out how he wanted to, you know? And so he, I guess he formulated in his mind this scenario where someone did something even worse than him. So that, like, they were the person who did something bad. Like, trying to rewrite history, Mandela effect the night or whatever. And, um, like, nobody shit the couch, like I said. Um, but he, he was accusing someone of something that they didn't do, which is, like, gaslighting and... Um, turning, you know, turning good, turning good people against other good people. That's what psychopaths, reptilians do naturally. So that was uh, crazy, but interesting, I thought. And another time, um, my mum was over and we were all talking and psychopath little nephew was there. And he just out of nowhere, I'm not going to use my real name, but he says, Uncle Truth Dog's a bad boy. <laughs> I go, what? I'm Uncle Truth Dog. And he turns to me and goes, oh, shit. <laughs> like that's the guy like just out of nowhere again the cogs are turning and he just thought oh, I'll throw him under the bus see how that goes so like he's it was at that point where I guess his reptilian brain had it like developed to the point where he's good enough to like lie and turn people against each other but that's one trait um, he has a very cute voice which kind of like goes against what I've said about reptilians in the past how they have like very annoying voices like he is annoying he doesn't shut up but he has such a cute voice. Like, he could be a voice actor. He's very, very cute sounding. But I think that, like, that's just a way that helps him in life because it lets people, like, they, they'll put their guard down and they'll trust him. They're like, oh, what a cute kid. I'll tell you all my deepest, darkest secrets. Next thing you know, like, he's used everything you've told him in confidence against you and ruined your life. Um, so there's that. The other thing, like, I was watching a video by Yashua Ben David, and he brought up this thing that someone had said about reptilians how their skin doesn't feel like real skin and that they feel hollow and like um, all that sort of stuff. Um, and that's something I've definitely noticed about this kid. Like I don't have much um, experience holding babies. My sister only had, my not sister only had like one child before this one and he's human and he, he felt normal and all that sort of stuff. But this kid, he feels like if you hug him, he feels hollow. It's like you could not. It's like the Tin Man, like don't, don't, don't. It just doesn't feel like there's anything really in there. Like it's a, it's, a sh it's an empty shell, and it's like, like made of plastic or metal or something. His skin feels very like amphibious. Like it doesn't feel, doesn't feel like the normal kind of temperature or the normal. Um, I don't know what you call it, but it just doesn't feel like human skin. It feels like very amphibious. Like it's, it's almost like kind of moist all the time. Very strange feeling, almost like rubber, I suppose, like a wettish sort of rubber feeling. And also, when you go to pick him up, he is heavy. It feels like he weighs a ton. Like, he's just a little fella. But when you go to pick him up, it feels like he weighs, 
He's so heavy. Like, he weighs like three times more than what he looks like he should. Um, like I said, very hollow. And I felt this also about my father, like in recent years, sort of reconciled with him. And he's kind of a narcissist himself. He's sort of benign. He's, no, he's not a pathological liar, but he is a bit off. And I'm not sure if it is my real dad, but I've felt that same thing about my dad. When I go to hug my dad, he feels hollow too. And like I said, he's fairly narcissistic. So that's just one way you can tell if you're in a relationship with one and like you're intimate with them, uh, their body, they, they don't feel normal. So definitely pay attention to that. What's a real person for bad? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but like I have a very natural rapport with my nephew. Um, he's very easy to talk to. Like I said, he's very funny. Um, but he was also like very easily scared, especially at a young age. He was terrified of zombies because he's, his dickhead father would show, show him and my other nephew, uh, other, other nephew horror movies. At, like when they're toddlers and stuff, just awful, awful shithead that guy is. Um, but it's, yeah, terrified, very fear-based kind of mentality, this kid. Very easily scared. And I think, like, reptilians are fear-based. They control us through fear. And I think they, because they're easily scared, they, they like to make sure that we're scared before they are so that they have the upper hand. They can control a situation and they control a person. So he's very easily scared. He also enjoys violent video games. Uh, I know that this is wrong, but from time to time when my nephews are over, we'll play a game like GTA. But I make it a rule that... It's just, you're only allowed to get in the car and drive around for fun. Like, have fun driving over hills and all that sort of stuff. If you kill anybody in the game, the game goes off. But my nephew always breaks that rule. The first time we ever let him play it, this was insane. Like, his first go on GTA was like three years old. He, he has the controller in his hand for like one second. He pulls out a gun. I don't even know off the top of my head how to pull out a gun in GTA. He pulls out a gun and shoots a person from like in the game like 50 feet away and kills them straight away me and my nephew were like what the hell it's like he has this natural instinct to per 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 perpensity whatever the word for killing he, he loves violence loves bloodlust you know he swears a lot because swearing is cursing curse words you know he swears a lot and uh, apparently something very surprising he's very good in school which, uh, when my family hears about this, we just can't believe it because, like I said, he's a little shit to take care of. Um, but apparently he's very quiet and well-behaved in school. Now, what I chalk this up to is that he is only being quiet. Okay, it's like what I say about psychopaths. They like to appear as like model citizens, very clean-cut and uh, very trustworthy uh, in public so that they can get away with literally murder behind the scenes. The other thing is I think that he's been very quiet in school because he's only in grade two, I think, at the moment. He's being very quiet in school because he's 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 observing other humans, trying to learn their behavior to mimic it, because that's one thing that they definitely do. He's trying to learn how other people interact, see what works, see what doesn't, so that he can steal that behavior and use it to his advantage. Um, yeah, so that's basically that. And... Uh, one other thing, I've never seen him actually shapeshift in person. I've never seen slit pupils. I've never seen his skin um, become scaly. But one thing with his father, like I said, his father is definitely a psychopath. Um, I had one incident where he would he boxed me into my driveway. It was actually my, I thought it was my sister who was driving. They came over to visit. And they were always doing this. And I had to leave. And so I, I opened the door and just said to my sister, I was very annoyed. I said, can you please stop doing that? Every time you come here, you box me in. And I'm sick of having to ask you to move your car. Just can you park somewhere else next time? Her, her, her psychopath husband took it upon himself to think that I was talking to him because I've noticed this with narcissists. They always fucking think you're talking about them. They always think you're talking to them. Such weirdos. He, he, he got in my face straight away like, hey, mate, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're like... And he was trying to get into the house, like, have a fight with me. So I was just saying, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to my not sister. He got in my face, and I was trying to close the door on him. He was right up against me, and I saw his eyes go slit, like, literally go from, you know, circles to those, you know, thin lines. And I saw his, his skin become, like, scaly, up close, like, yellowy, green, golden sort of scales right in my face. Um... So I, I, I tried to close the door on them. He got in, long story short. He pushed his way in just to beat me up, right? I ran and got my phone. I said, that's not, F off, I'm filming this. He ran out of the house as soon as I started filming. So make it that uh, what you will. Um, but yeah, so like, 
I don't know exactly how much this relates to reptilians being not knowing they're reptilians, but I have like talked to my nephew about this and I can guarantee he's a very good liar, but he doesn't know that he's a reptilian. So like I said, I don't know what happens in the hospital, whether they put some suit on the child and they don't, you know, no one tells them or if like it's simply part of this simulation that the human uh, costume will just load over their, their normal body. I have no idea. I'm not going to say that I do. Um, what was I going to say? So reptilians, I don't know. Um, I think it might be like with empaths, like you don't necessarily know you're an empath. As you're growing up, you don't really, you're definitely told that all people are good. Everyone's just like you, but you, you learn over time and experience that you're not like other people. And I think that reptilians, like the same way that we learn that we're, we're like angelic reptilian, a reptilian will learn over time that they're demonic. And they may have experiences where in the mirror they see their eyes slit when they get angry or whatever, because I think that's when the shape shifting happens. They, when the, the, the vibration becomes um, static, they can't really, con the, the hologram malfunctions. Um, so maybe that over time they'll learn or hear, get, hear from people that you just like your eyes changed or whatever. So um, self, what do you call it, self reflection or like going within, they'll learn the opposite to what an angel will learn about themselves over time. But the same way that no one will necessarily tell you an angel, I don't think anyone necessarily tells that a reptilian that they're reptilian. So there we go. This has been uh, managed to do 20 plus minutes of this. So I think we'll wrap it up there. Leave you again with that. If you have any of your own stories on reptilians, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll go feed my cat now. But hopefully, hopefully this sated your uh, your thirst for reptilian videos. If you did like it, please leave a like and please leave a like on all my videos. I need the attention. I need this. Like I said, Lady Gaga, I'm Lady Gaga. I do that for the applause, the applause, applause. Anyway, enough of that. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a good one. Truth dog out, and I owe you. I owe you several wolves, so I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna count. I'm just gonna do a bunch of them so that we're even, and then some. So truth dog out. Woof!